Hello, I'm Mrs Alison Enskor and I'm Head of Art here in the Senior School at Exeter School. Art is compulsory in third, fourth and lower fifth form, that's years seven, eight and nine, but we teach the art curriculum in a carousel with the design technology department, meaning that we teach smaller classes. We have half size groups, meaning that we can be much more adventurous and, and ambitious with the projects that we're teaching and it also means we get more one-to-one -one time with each pupil. Our specialism in the department is fine art and we're very fortunate to have fantastic facilities here at Exeter School. We have two large spacious studios and in one of the studios we also have two large print presses and facility to do screen printing, giving pupils of all ages the option to try this really exciting technique. Art is an option subject at GCSE and A level. At GCSE we usually have two classes taking the subject, this is normally between 12 to 16 pupils, again meaning that we get lots of time to spend with those pupils on a one-to-one -one basis discussing their projects and thinking about where they would like to take the themes that they're studying. We're a fine arts department meaning that we study the AQA fine arts specialism. And we deliberately choose this specification because we believe that it gives our pupils the opportunity to explore the things that they're really interested in. So in our department you'll see examples of traditional work such as drawing, painting, printmaking, but you'll also see things like textiles, animation, photography, really a very wide range of disciplines. We have a purpose-built gallery space here in the arts department at Exeter School. And this space is used for a rolling programme of exhibitions throughout the year. And this is used to showcase work by pupils, by our staff, um, by alumni, and also we host exhibitions by other local schools such as WESC. And it's great to have this space in order to celebrate the work that's achieved by these people and to invite in parents, governors and the wider school community to celebrate with us. We often hold private viewings in this space and we, we really enjoy celebrating what's been achieved and the talents of our young people. Any pupil opting to study art in the sixth form is given their own dedicated pod space in the department. This means at any point during the working day, whether that might be at break time, at lunch time or in their dedicated private study periods, they've always got a space in which they can work in the arts department. It's very much their own and the walls actually become an extension of their sketchbook. This is their personal space which, where they can explore their coursework and staff are on hand to give them one-to-one -one support. In addition to the timetabled lessons, we pride ourselves on the extracurricular offering here in the arts department at Exeter School. We run a weekly lunchtime art club for the lower school, that's third form, fourth form and lower fifth, which is year seven, eight and nine. And that's an opportunity to explore some techniques and processes which you wouldn't normally get the opportunity to do in lessons. So for example, each autumn, those pupils will work together collaboratively to create the school Christmas card design. And then that card is then used by the head to distribute to other local schools and alumni. We have other opportunities, so for the sixth form for example we run an after school life drawing programme. This runs from the November through to the February. There's a fantastic opportunity to boost their observational drawing skills in this really tricky area of the curriculum and we hire a model and we set up those sessions in two hour blocks after school and give them that tuition which is just so valuable in developing that skill. We also support the drama department with stage design, so there's opportunity to get involved in painting flats, painting scenery, so there's lots of opportunity for pupils to get involved in art outside of their normal lessons. The work you can see here was produced this year in response to our residential trip to St Ives. This is an annual trip which we run for our GCSE artists and it's an opportunity for them to produce their second coursework project in response to the Cornish landscape, looking at that artistic colony in that area that is so well known. And with, up during that trip we actually work with a, a local professional artist and the pupils engage in a wide range of gallery visits and practical workshops. This is just one of the trips that we run throughout the year. We also run one day visits to galleries for our sixth form pupils and for our middle fifth, that's our GCSE artists. The work you can see here was produced this year in response to a GCSE visit to our school archive and the work is actually based on the memorabilia that the pupils were able to handle and draw from life and this is just one of the examples where we work cross-curricularly with other departments in the school. Other things that we often do are working with the drama department, pupils will create the publicity materials for some of our school productions and we've worked with other departments on thematic projects. It really provides an opportunity for the pupils to just think outside of the, the bubble of the art department and to consider wider whole school themes. The art department at Exeter School really is a welcoming and nurturing environment. We offer an open studio policy, meaning that our studios are open at break times, lunch times and after school for our pupils. 
This is really an opportunity, particularly for our GCSE and our A-level pupils, to come back into the department at those times and to be able to continue with their coursework, knowing that they have the facilities at their fingertips and also staff on hand to provide individual tailored support. We also support older pupils with applications for arts-based university courses. This might be fine art, it could be fashion design, it might be architecture. And we do this by providing portfolio preparation sessions and mock interviews. In the last few years, we've had a number of pupils go on to study at prestigious institutions.